hi guys welcome back to my channel um just just in kind of chillax today um for the latest video so today why am i having a stupid accent so today's video is going to be um i was gonna say declutter but it's really not it's my empties oh totally separate different video anyways um so today is going to be my empties video or things that didn't work out and i am just getting rid of because they suck or at least they didn't do anything for me that I could see a perceivable difference. And yeah. Okay. So the first one that I'm going to... I'm going to do all the skincare. So let me kind of pull it out really quick. And so I can do the skincare first. To be honest, a lot of this is just plain mascaras. A lot of it is just mascaras because... I mean... Usually I go about two, like every three, four months I change out my mascaras and usually have about two mascaras open at the same time. So yeah, a lot. <laughs> Moving on with this video, um, the first item that I'm going to pull up or, you know, get rid of or whatever, trash, um, is this Physicians Formula Rosé All Night Ultra Rich Restorative Cream. It brightens and tightens. So I haven't finished it, but I've mostly finished it. I think it's actually gone bad. It smells ugh. Okay, so the main reason that I am going to get rid of it, even though I haven't finished it, um, I really, really liked it when I first got it. It's a really, really nice thick cream, like probably the thickest moisturizer I've ever tried. And it's really good. I would recommend it. I do recommend it. If you have very dry skin or you just want something very emollient, very nice and thick and moisturizing for a nighttime moisturizer, it's definitely a nighttime moisturizer. Um, it even says it on here, it's a nighttime moisturizer. But if you are sensitive to fragrance, which is what I am, I don't, do not get this at all. Or if you don't like fragrance in your skincare, please don't get this. This, you, you will hate this. Um, I wish some brand, or maybe I haven't discovered it yet, would make a like this kind of texture cream but no fragrance i prefer no fragrance if possible in my skincare unless it's an ingredient that's already in there that already has fragrance um but yeah uh, i really do like the texture it's really really nice you do have to warm it up between your fingers because otherwise it will not glide on there um nicely on your face but i'm just and plus physician's formula is not cruelty free anymore so yeah another reason to get rid of it okay um, let's see. I have, actually the next three are eye creams. So I have Sea Tango Multivitamin Eye Cream. I just had a little sample from, um, like a kit they had. I honestly didn't, I finished the whole thing, but it took me about probably a month to finish it. And I didn't really see a difference. Not when I put it on, not after the month. I, I didn't see what it was supposed to do. I don't think it held up to any of its claims. I don't like this cream. I felt like it was a little too light. I do like my eye cream to be a little bit more thick, a little bit more creamy, and this just felt like a little lotion. Not really what I like, my preference. Uh, and more than anything, I didn't really see a difference. <laughs> uh, I'm not saying I have dark, super dark circles or anything like that, or I have very dry eyes or anything like that. I just, I don't, that's, that's why I don't feel like it. Maybe someone who does have dark circles or something, it would make more of a difference. But I don't have a lot of eye issues, you could say. Maybe that's why. Um, I don't know. Again, with this eye cream, another one um, from Juice Beauty. And it's called the Stem Cellular, Cellular, Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Eye Cream. Let's try that again. So this um, next eye cream is from Juice Beauty. And it's the Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle anti-wrinkle eye treatment um again maybe because i don't have wrinkles around my eyes luckily luckily let's knock on wood let that not change i still this is not empty i just don't think it made any difference again maybe because i don't have wrinkles i just have the regular i mean you know everybody creases the creases that everybody has under their eye because that's just natural creases but other than that i don't really have any eye area problems so maybe that's why I didn't see a difference with this one too. And also this is very, um, like I said, I still have some. So this is like, you push the little thing right here, the little, I guess, button pressure thing. And it comes out and you're supposed to put it 
on your eye and rub it on there like that. But again, this eye cream is very thin. I don't feel like it made any type of difference. I didn't see a difference. Um, I just don't think it was worth it. I got it in a BoxyCharm, so I mean, it's not like I spent a lot of money on it because I know Juice Beauty is expensive. But would I recommend this? No. Not as an eye cream. I wouldn't recommend it at all. I don't think I saw any type of difference. Um, but yeah. I mean, you can see it's a little bit more matte there, but what do you need your eye to be more matte for? Okay, another one that I got, I guess it's like an eye cream eye treatment or something. Um, it's from Botanics. And it's the Albright with Hibiscus Refreshing Eye Roll. This I bought a long time ago, and I think I used it like once. And it has a metal eye roller. I've used it. I did use it at the beginning when I first got it, but honestly, again, I didn't see any difference, and, uh, oh, it has AHA. Should you be putting that on your, um, it has AHA, I just realized that, but I think it's a botanical AHA, um, but yeah, I, uh, again, I didn't feel a difference with this, but now that I'm a little bit more... I've educated myself a little bit on, you know, ingredients and things like that. I don't think I'd feel comfortable with an AJ near my eye. Just saying. So, yeah. Again, this is mostly full, but it's so old. I'm just going to get rid of it. I didn't even know I still had this. Okay. Um, next skincare item is the Thayer's Facial Toner. Thayer's? Thayer's. Um, Facial Toner Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula. Um, and this scent a rose petal I did like this one um would I repurchase it again yeah I would I don't a lot of people say that which case it was not good for you but I didn't really feel a difference like it would dry my skin out or anything like that um I just decided to try a different toner for my routine just to kind of switch up that part of my routine um but I mean I didn't think it was like bad or anything again if you don't like fragrance you won't like this it's not super strong or anything like that but you know just putting that out there and it's not like I for at least for my daytime toner I don't want anything to make such a I don't really need it for anything other to kind of just again like kind of cleanse a little bit tone my skin and my nighttime toner is the one that I really want to make a difference as far as my toners go. So for something like that, just something to kind of make sure it's a little, little set more for your storms and all that. It's I think it's 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 fine. I don't think it's great or anything like that. I think it's fine. Um, but I had repurchased it multiple times. I just hadn't found another toner that I liked. Um, but I am trying a new toner out. So. I'll let you know how that works out. And another empty that I have that I up this is something I absolutely love is the Green Clean um makeup melt. Ma so another thing, okay. So the next, the last skincare item is an item that I absolutely love, and it's my um, makeup cleanser, and it's by Pharmacy, and it's the Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. And I don't think you can even open this because it's kind of weird kind of all gross and greasy but I mean I scraped every little bit of that and I absolutely love this um a lot of people don't because it says they have it has plastic in it but honestly it hasn't bothered my skin in any form shape or anything so I'm going to continue using it I already pretty much am stocked up for the rest of the year I really do enjoy it um it's an, like a, it's a bomb and you kind of start rubbing it into your dry face, onto your dry skin. Um, and it does clean away most of your makeup. The eye makeup is where I have a little bit more difficulty sometimes. But I just try to be very gentle around my eye area. Like, for example, um, well, I'll, maybe I'll just make this uh, video of my nighttime skincare. Um, but yeah, definitely really enjoy this. I know it is more on the expensive side, but... I don't know, I just really enjoy it. I don't really enjoy the brand Pharmacy. I have a lot of things from them. Next two are the same pencil, I think. No. Okay, so the next two are brow products. One is from NYX. The NYX uh, Micro Brow. I really do like it. I use this shade Espresso. And I do like the way it... Um, you can do your eyebrows. It's a very thin point. Like, I have nothing to show you and nothing left. 
and then the spool even broke off too but I really do enjoy this um, eyebrow pencil and it makes your eyebrow very neat and precise very easy to do and then the other one that I really really love and I fell in love with after the NYX micro brow which I think is better than the next one is the, um, the cover girl the LA girl um, slim eye pencil I think that's what it's called slim shady slim no oh what no oh my god um the slim eyebrow pencil or something it's called like that i mean it's the only brow pencil that they actually have i think but it's obviously the smaller one again that little my fine micro point that they have and it also comes with the spoolie and this one i use the shade black brown and i like the shade better because it's a little bit more cool tone but i also like the formula of this one better it's a little more i could say waxy um and just i seem to think I seem to like this, but well, when I started using the LA Girl one, I liked this one automatically better than the next one, but honestly, I do like both of them. I don't feel like I sh you should spend, or at least I don't want to spend any money, high-end money, I, I don't want to spend any money on high-end brow products. I just think there's so much of the drugstore that you can explore, and it's just not one of the products that I want to use, I want to spend so much money on get the you know I just don't I don't think it's worth it but in my opinion um one brow product that I did not like at all is the billion dollar brows the micro blade effect honestly it has three little points and it's supposed to have a micro micro what is it micro blade effect but look how you look at that how is that supposed to have a micro brow effect like you can't even see it and I like the concept of it, but like you literally have to press it down really hard to even get that. You shouldn't have to press that down that hard. It should you should flick and it should be on there. But as you can see, it's not really working. But yeah, I didn't really like that. I'm within the first use. I saw that it wasn't working. I tried to use it again, and again, it wasn't like you couldn't even see the difference in my eyebrows. So I just decided to get rid of it. It's not worth it. Again, that's an item that I got in my BoxyCharm. I would not recommend that you buy it. Another thing that I really did empty was this Essence Make Me Brow in the shade... What is it? Brownie Brows. Brownie Brows 02. And it has... It's a colored eyebrow gel with fibers. And honestly, I used the whole thing. I really, really enjoy this product. I like that the spoolie is very small. And you can really get in there and fill it in. And I feel like this product you can use on a quick or no makeup makeup day. Just use this to fill in your brows. And you don't have to worry about like filling them in with a pencil or going over them with the pencil. You just in and out or you just want some definition to your brows without spending too much time or money because this is $2.99. This is a great product. And if you haven't tried it, I recommend you trying it out. To our primers. Um... One I finished, one I didn't. I used a lot of it, but I didn't use it all the way up. But I do have to get rid of it because it is so old. Um, so the one that I did use up all the way up, I lost the cap, is the NYX Pore Filler Primer. And I love, love this primer. Like this one is, if you need a pore like filler and you haven't found something that works, this is going to work for you. Um, of course, it does have that silicone feel but you actually can press it in and you can actually see the difference on your pores i've i mean there are some good ones that they do like minimize a little bit like your pores how they look they don't have to be all like pore pore filling but this one is a pore filler like this one really really works if you want to get that airbrush poreless look i really recommend this one and it's from nyx and you know it's drugstore prices but NYX is a little more expensive I think this one was like how much is this hold on let me see because I haven't bought this in a while I replaced it but I haven't bought one in a long time this used to be my only primer for the longest time um and I used to purchase it like all the time I'm on like on the fourth one probably fourth fifth one and let's see Ah, see, it's $14 regularly, but right now as I'm filming this video on June something. I mean, it's always on sale, but the sale price right now is $10.50. That 
that's a pretty good price and you do get a lot and it does last you a really long time um of course the last few less if it's your only primer but definitely one of the better um pore feeling primers that is out there another one that is amazing um probably honestly it's better than this one's amazing for the drugstore like the best drugstore one that i found but this one for high end the tart one it's called the clean slate timeless smoothing Prime smoothing primer this one's definitely the best one i've ever ever tried this sucker if you put too much it's too much you literally need like this much probably for your entire area because it is truly poor fine the i mean poor filling it really smooths you out um i might repurchase this one day because i really really like it but it's forty dollars and i heard they changed the formula and i can't even like try it out right now because corona um to see if it's the same one so i mean by now it's really changed its texture and i don't trust to put it on my face anymore because it's been so long since i purchased it's probably been like five years so it's definitely time to give it away i mean i stopped using it probably a long six months ago but i just kept it in my primary collection i don't know why um but yeah i'm finally going to throw this away and we'll see how the new one is compared to the, this one but th i hope you can see the difference between this side of my hand and this Right here is where I put it, and then this side of my hand. I hope you can see that. But it's really, really good. Really, really good. If you want, like, you know, filled out. Or filled in the pores. Alright, the next ones are all mascaras. And the reason I want to keep the mascaras is because um, I think um, brushes or lashes for wildlife. I forgot the, the rescue group. Uh, it's called Wands for Wildlife and you can donate your mascaras. But they only accept them once twice a year in Mar October and February. And if you go to the website, I'll link it. Make sure I'll link it down below. Um, you just mail the form with wands and donations to their P.O. box. Um, and... You just make sure that the wands are clean. Okay, so old mascara wands are used to remove fly, eggs, and larvae from the fur and feathers of wild animals. They work great because the bristles are close together. Gather old mascara wands and donations to help the wild ones by hosting a wands for wild... Okay, hold on. Um, okay, before mailing, wash wands in warm soapy water to remove resi residue mascara. In October and February, mail form with wands and donations to... Please do not purchase new wands. The program is for recycling old wands. Um, instead, donate food or supplies from the wish list. Make a donation. Oh, there's even t-shirts. They're cute. So yeah, I'll leave that linked down below. And let's remember, it's in October. So I have a little bit of everything. Okay, so let me try out the worst mascaras. Okay. These two are probably the worst. Okay. So, the worst one for me was um, Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. Now, I've heard that when you do have mini, certain ones don't work out for you. Um, but I didn't like this one at all. Like, I don't think I would even try to purchase this. I mean, the whole point of having a mini mascara is so that if you want to purchase the full size or travel, it's supposed to work as well as the big one, right? They're the regular size, the full size. And I didn't really like this one. It just felt like I didn't really do anything for my lashes. Um, another one, I did like it. This one from ColourPop. I don't love... So, this one from ColourPop, I liked it. And it was the one black on black. But I don't love it. And one of the reasons that I don't love it, it's because it leaves so... Like, it just flakes. Like, you end up with so much little black dots all over your face from this one. I don't think it's worth it even for the price. I think there's other mascaras. If they could fix that, I think that would be great. Um, another thing is that it's nice for an everyday mascara. Like if you just want to run errands, something like that. You don't want something too heavy or dramatic on your lashes. That's great for that. But for like, you know, glam days or something you want to really pump up your lashes with, this is not it. It is not black enough for my taste. I want something that's like black as black night. Um... So yeah, no no full moon, no moon that day, new moon day, new moon kind of night block. But yeah, I don't like that one either. 
I didn't. I, I mean, I liked it. But I don't think it was. It was fine. It was okay. Um, like if we're looking for some good drugstore ones, I only have one here. I thought I had another one. This one. This one has got to be my favorite one that I've tried from the drugstore so far, and I haven't tried a lot. So, um, because the reason I haven't tried out a lot, a lot of drugstore mascaras is because I used to use CoverGirl. And then I started getting into more cruelty-free things, so they weren't cruelty-free when I went cruelty-free. So instead, I switched to a high-end mascara, and I felt like the CoverGirl ones weren't doing anything for me either. And then that's when I started getting into more high-end mascaras. I mean, I used one mascara for years. Literally years. It hasn't been until probably maybe a year and a half ago, maybe a year, where I really started like rotating in new mascaras. And one of the first ones that I really rotated in was this Warrior Lash Mascara. The Warrior Princess from Flower Beauty. And it's the pink one. I haven't tried the regular Warrior Lash Mascara. Um, but this one is so, so, so good. They say this is the dupe for the, 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 um, the, the wand is Hourglass shade. It's a dupe for the, what is it, the Too Faced one. Better than Sex Mascara. And I think it's better than that one because that one flakes on you and it just leaves... It just, it doesn't do what this one does. I think this one's so, so much better because I have tried the Better Than Sex Mascara, but I think sometimes that one's a little too clumpy and this one doesn't do that. This one's so good. If you haven't tried it, I would recommend trying that one. Just hair loose. Okay, um, so the one mascara that I used for years and years and years is the Lights Camera Lashes by Tarte. I had a mini one and then I had the full size. I would always purchase these during the 25 days or 21 days of beauty. Um, at Ulta and I would get it for $10 so I always take advantage of that and this is what the wand looks like and I do like this one it really separates the lashes um, but I found like I said better mascara since this one and I don't love this one as much as I used to I still do but like for length is amazing for volume it doesn't give me as much volume as I want but yeah and I still have like two more because I used to stock up on these so I mean I just want to try other mascaras besides this one but I do recommend it it's really really good I still think it's really good all right two more that I absolutely um love and I fell in love with is this Urban Decay Perversion Mascara this one is so good at first I didn't want to like I didn't think it was that great but you know some mascaras you have to let in some air and let a couple days pass and this one's definitely one of these and it's so like it gives you so much volume and it is so so black like I love that and I just I actually kind of miss using this mascara the brush is so nice and big and like fluffy it's not like those hard plastic bristles I do not like the plastic bristles I hate that so I really enjoy that one and then this one from Kush from Milk the Kush mascara I really 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 like this one too this one does things to your lashes and it's also another really big brush wand um but I really enjoy this one and I have another mini of this one like this size love it okay and two more that I thought that were okay they weren't great is um damn girl I got like a point perk with this mascara and I just felt like it was the brush was just too big and then it just got everywhere like the brush was way too big like I could not use this on my lower lash line on my lower lashes it was just it like really really hard it would always get super clumpy and I do like it but I don't I don't love it like I wouldn't purchase the full size again if it was a point perk maybe maybe mm -mm. no I really get the cush one I love the cush one the cush one perversion are so good they give you volume they give you length they're black they're black 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 how many words? How many times can I say that? I mean, they're very, it's a very, very intense block. And it just makes your lashes go ba ba boom. Um, and the last mascara that I have, last item that I have, is the Unlash Volume and Curl Mascara from Wonder Beauty. I got this one in a BoxyCharm. I really do like the brush on this, actually. The brush is so good. Like, amazing at separating your lashes. However, it was not a really good formula. Like, it really didn't give you... Other than separation, maybe some length, it didn't give you any volume, and that's what it says it does. It gives you volume and curl, and I didn't really feel like that. I would always use this as my base mascara, and then go in with the Tarte Lash. Um, Tarte Lash. 
I would always use this one as my base mascara and then go in with the Tarte Lights Camera and Lashes um, over it. And I really like this combo. Um, would I repurchase this just for that combo? No. I don't think it was worth it. Um, because I can get, like I said, the Kush of that one or even the Flower Beauty. These three are like top-notch mascaras to be honest. So yeah. So that ends... That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching all my empties and what I thought of them, what I would repurchase, what I would completely skip. Um, and if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, I hope you consider subscribing and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.